Welcome guys, it is Championship Racing once again here at Sarko. This time around we're in the 73 BMW 2002 Stance Works for a six event championship consisting of two sprint races for each event. We have an eight lap and a 15 lap race with a five minute qualifying before each of those races. We kick off event number one at the Nürburgring Sprint Short sit back and enjoy the highlights of both race one and two and looking at these results we definitely think this is going to be a very interesting championship enjoy having a look at the starting line of full race number one unfortunately we lost some drivers due to psn and connectivity issues bruno our gto champion here unfortunately starts off 14th on the grid not being able to get a lap time in and he lines up next to memo our greek international who starts off in 13th position Row number six sees the likes of Colin, our newcomer, who now gets to enter a championship from the beginning of the season. He is alongside Toki from ZA Racing. Toki starts off in 11th place. Row number five sees Yaku. He's in 10th place, representing the Tarmac Monkeys, and he is alongside Andrew from the Mumbers. Andrew, unfortunately, will be driving alone as Dylan has internet connectivity issues at the moment. Row number four and Gerard, he joins up with Tosco. Gerard starts off in 8th place and he's next to Jacques, who's currently in 7th position driving for TTR. Unfortunately, TTR will only have the one driver as Dupi was not able to join this room this evening. In 6th place, Dirk, Gerard's partner from Tosco, he'll start off on row 3 and he's alongside Morris from White Knuckle Racing. Morris begins in 5th place. The third driver from Tosco, Louis, he sees himself in the second row in fourth place and he's alongside Ross, our Scottish international. Ross starts off in third. Row number one and Jakes, he's put himself on the front row. He'll be looking for a championship, I'm sure. And in top place, Vince, our privateer, he'll be looking to make a mark on these championship races himself. As we wait for the green lights, off they go. Vincent has had a great start coming off the line, followed by Jakes and Ross. Jake starts moving over to the right-hand side, and Ross tucks in behind him. Here we chase Andrew with Jacques on his left, Morris a little bit in the front. Jakes has gone extremely hot into that first corner. That's unfortunately spun him around. Oh, that's dirty. He's hit Jakes. Andrew's hit Colin. There was so much happening on that first corner. We'll have to go back and see what happened there. Here we see that replay once again. You can see Jakes has gone way too hot. Vincent turned in, not seen Jakes. That's unfortunately put Vince up in the air. Dirk has come around, has nowhere to go, and that's unfortunately left Jakes on his roof. Quick little look at Colin. See, he's come on the brakes. Yaku hasn't anticipated that speed. That unfortunately has spun Colin around, thrown him up and over. Not sure how he managed to catch it, but unfortunately when he came back onto the track, that's why Andrew does a little clip on the rear. Very unfortunate there, Colin. So we go to the back of the field and we have a look at what's happening in the positions at the moment. Here we chasing Durki from Tosco. The positions after the first corner mayhem is Durki, Ross, Louis, Gerard, Andrew, Marius, Bruno. Bruno coming from 14th place, managed to get around the carnage. Great move there by Bruno. Yaku's in 8th, Toki's in 9th, Jacques down to 10th place. Vincent, our pole sitter, he's unfortunately down in 11th. Memo's in 12th, Colin thir in 13th and Jakes unfortunately on his roof down in 14th position. Three wide coming into the chicane. That's Morris and Andrew that they've touched. That oh, that was Louis coming from wide. He unfortunately clipped Andrew as he went through. Oh, that was Harrod. He spun off. Louis had to touch the brakes there to not hit his partner. As they go around a turn and number eight. We get on board with Toki as he crosses the line to begin his second lap. Lots of action already so early on in this race. Having the positions change multiple times. Oh, big lock up there by Andrew. 
that's allowed Louis. He's now moved himself to the inside. Oh, another lock up by Andrew. Louis being able to make that pass. Andrew unfortunately losing two positions in that corner. That's Louis. He's moved himself on the inside of Yaku. Yaku is starting 10th on the position. He's now up to 5th place. Andrew's there in 6th. Toki's in 7th. Vincent, he's moved himself back to 8th. And we see Gerard. He's putting pressure there on Vincent. Gerard got the run around the outside there. Extremely close battle here for those middle of the field. We just see how many cars are actually trying to fight for this position as they head down the, the back straight and set themselves up for the chicane. Oh, Toki, he taps Andrew going through that chicane. Oh, this is what it would have looked like from the inside of Harold's car. Nowhere to go straight into Andrew. Back to the front of the field and we see that Durki and Ross, they pulled themselves away from the pack. Morris was there in third place. As they cross the line, we can have a recap of what's happening in the positions. Durki is first, Ross second, Morris is in third. Louis is fifth. Yaku from tenth, he's up to fifth. I see Vincent, he's made his move on Toki. Vince moved himself up to sixth. Toki is in seventh. Bruno in eighth. Bruno starting 14th on the grid. He's ahead of Jacques in 9th. Gerard down in 10th. Memo is in 11th. Andrew, very unfortunate, he's down in 12th. Colin, he's in 13th place. And unfortunately, Jakes, he had to retire. In shot, we see Yaku. He's in 6th place, followed by Vincent in 7th. Toki is currently in 8th. As they go into the chicane. Looks like Vince has got a great run coming out of that corner. We'll need to see whether he'll be able to make the move here on Yaku going into a Coca-Cola corner. Yaku seems to run himself a little bit wide. Vincent might be able to get the toe on him and set himself for an overtake going into turn number one. Some bobbing and weaving happening there. Vincent has made that quite easy. Yaku very nice and composed as he didn't lock up those brakes and didn't put anyone's race into jeopardy there lap number four we catch up the action with our leaders going into turn number four oh, ross is panicked he's unfortunately he's lost the rear oh that's marius that's clipped him ross rejoins again and he clips marius that's louis he's now joined up in the mix ross is now he's dropped himself down from second place making a move to take the first position and unfortunately Ross has dropped down to fourth place. Morris is now up in second with Louis in third. Yeah we chase Harrod quickly. He's definitely been in the wars so early on in this race. I'm sure he'll be looking for a much better result in the second one. Our race leader Dirk as he comes around Coca-Cola corner. He crosses the line to begin his fifth lap. Have a look at the positions. We can see that Dirk has pulled himself a five second gap away from that battle for second, third and fourth. Louis, he's up to second place. Ross is in third. He must have made a move with Morris going into that last corner. Vinny, an unfortunate start with that contact with Jakes. He's moved himself up to fifth. Yaku's in sixth. Toki in a respectable seven. Bruno, he's up to eighth position. He'll be putting pressure on Toki very soon. Jacques in 9th, Gerard down in 10th place, Andrew he too down, he's in 11th place, Colin is in 12th and Memo is in 13th position. Here we chase Bruno, ahead of him here is Toki who's in 7th and Yaku who's in 6th. As they go around turn number 5, they'll chase this action as they go through the fast turn number 6 and set themselves up for the chicane. Looks like Bruno might have the run here on Toki. Hard on the brakes. Oh, little luck up there by Bruno. But timing that braking point extremely well. He's got a great run coming out of that chicane. Will you have a look on the inside? No, Toki sees him coming. Bruno just 
backs off and he tucks in behind him coming through coca-cola corner great close racing here Bruno trying to get as much of that slipstream as he can I'm sure you have a look on the inside here as they go into turn number one we'll see a little the lock up there in the front there by Marius great overtake move there by Bruno he'll take that place away from Torquay Bruno will now move up to seventh position Vincent has a little look on the inside of Marius Vincent he now moves himself up into fourth position We see ahead of Vincent that Ross, he's in third. Louis, he's in second for Tosco. And we still have Dirk, who's way ahead in first position. That's Bruno. He's had a great run coming out of turn number five. He's made the move stick here on Yaku. We just have to see what happens in this breaking zone here at the chicane. Yaku's looking inside, but he then pulls out and sees that there was a lot of risk in that overtake so he lets Bruno move himself up Bruno now moves up into 6th place look at our leader Dirk, he's now on his 7th lap we'll have a quick look at the positions Dirk is still way ahead in 1st place followed by Louis in 2nd Ross has moved himself back to 3rd Vincent up to 4th place I'm sure Ross will be looking in his rearview mirror Morris is in 5th, Bruno in 6th, having started 14th on the grid. Yaku is in 7th, Toki is in 8th, Jacques is in 9th, Andrew in 10th, Colin is 11th, Gerard is 12th, Memo 13th and Jakes is enjoying a beer. On board with Ross as they exit out of turn number 4, ahead of him is Louis. Ross is going to try and get as much of the slipstream as possible set himself up for the chicane and hopefully make, it, make that overtake stick just past 100 board brake marker hard on the brakes turn in take a bit of the curb oh that was a little bit too much fortunately unsettling that car you see he had to counter steer hard on the brakes coming into coca-cola will ross be able to take the the slipstream here these cars are extremely sensitive to the slipstream. Doesn't seem like Ross is making much headway here on Louis. And Louis will go into the first corner quite safely. Whoa. Extremely close there by Ross. Ross gets the power back on a little power slide there by Louis coming out of that corner. Everything very neat and tidy so far. Ooh, Louis, he runs himself a little bit wide. Ross will have a look on the inside. Will he have the better drive coming out? This is where Ross had lost the rear, trying to make an attack on Louis' teammate early on in the race. But unfortunately, Ross losing out that rear, spinning himself and letting Dirk there in the background. You can see him getting away from the field. We'll follow this action as they go into the chicane. Ross making a very late move, trying to go around the outside here. Louis, he's defended his line perfectly. Big power slide there by Ross. Louis just squeezing him up on the inside. Oh, a little tag there. Louis has been able to been able to hold that position. He will then cross the line, holding that second place. So I was so concentrating on what was happening between Ross and Louis that I didn't see Vince. He landed up coming past and actually taking the position away from Ross. A little bit of lag between himself and Vince. But the final pos position actually gave Vince the third position and Ross actually finished fourth. Durki, he will cross the line in first place. Louis will come home in second. Vincent will actually finish third ahead of Ross who will finish fourth. Bruno will cross the line in fifth place. Marius will finish sixth. Yaku will come home in seventh. Toki will finish eighth. Jacques will finish ninth. Andrew comes home in tenth place. Colin eleventh. Gerard in twelfth. Memo in thirteenth. And Jake's unfortunately a retirement. 
It's race number two time and this five minute qualifying has definitely done its job once again. Memo, he starts off in 14th position and he's alongside Colin. I'm sure Colin's looking for a much better first corner. Row six sees Gerard, he's in 12th place. He's definitely not looking comfortable this evening. And he's alongside Jacques who slips back from his race one qualifier. Row five, Toki, he's in 10th place. He improves from his first race qualifier and he's alongside Andrew who unfortunately Andrew duplicates his effort from the race one. Row four and Louis, he finished second in race number one. He's in eighth place and he's alongside our race one pole sitter Vince. He's in seventh. He's probably hoping that there's no repeat of race one in that first corner. Race three. Dupi for TTR, he now joins in and unfortunately we lose Yaku due to connectivity. Dupi, he's alongside Morris. Morris, he too duplicates his race one qualifier. Row two sees Ross, he finishes fourth and starts off in fourth for the second race. Jakes changes his position, he's up into third place and looking to get a much better result in that turn one, hoping not to put it on the roof. Bruno, he's in second place, having starting 14th and finishing 5th. I'm sure he's liking his chances for a win in race number 2. And our race winner, D Dirk, he puts himself in pole and he's hoping to repeat his efforts from race 1. Let's see how this pans out. Green lights and away they go and Bruno has once again had a fantastic start coming off that line. He's moved himself alongside Durgeza, head down the main straight and prepared to go into turn number one. We see a little contact in the back there between, looks like Colin and Gerard. As they go into turn one, oh, big impact there between Colin and Gerard. We'll have to go back and have a look to see what happened there. Durki, he's got the inside run now on Bruno as they come through the, those S's. Bruno, he opted for the much faster outside line and that's allowed him to put himself on the inside to go into turn number three. Three. Jakes is in third place. He must be enjoying actually driving the car, considering land up on his roof in race number one. Everything seems to be clear so far. Just a quick look at the replay. In the view that Colin was driving, Haddad was completely out of sight here. So unfortunately, that put both Colin and Haddad into the wall, sending Colin straight back onto the racetrack collecting with Jacques and Memo and this put Gerard up and over double somersault and back onto his wheels I'd say that's a 9.25 here we drive on board with Andrew he's currently in sixth place he definitely made the start work for him he moved himself from ninth look at the position Bruno he still leads Durki is in second, Jakes is third, Ross fourth, Vincent is fifth, Andrew is sixth, Dupi he's seventh, Louis eighth, Marius ninth, Toki tenth. Oh, big lock up there by Vincent going into a oh, little tap there by Andrew, but no damage done. The guys have continued. Morris is in ninth, Toki is tenth, Jacques eleventh, Memo is up to twelfth, having started fourteenth. Colin and Gerard. 13th and 14th respectively it's a drag down the main straight Andrew he's moved himself to the inside looks like he'll have the run here on Ross into the braking zone great overtake there by Andrew but now he's on the outside looks like Ross might have cut that corner but Andrew's got the faster outside line yes Ross definitely he came off the power there there's Dupi in car number 89 he's now moved himself up past Ross Dupi, he's now moved himself to 6th place. Andrew up to 5th. A little bit of contact there by, between Ross and Dupi. We chase Louis as he goes around the outside of Ross, coming into turn number 4. Quick look back at the field as they exit out of turn number 5. That's Ross, Marius, Toki and then Jacques. Louis setting up for the chicane. Oh, big lock up there. That's Ross. He's taken the inside. 
that's been an extremely optimistic attempt there that's unfortunately made a lot of damage there so on the brakes we see here that Ross he definitely had a great opportunity to take the position away from Louis carried just too much speed he unfortunately connected with Dupi spun him around another impact against Dupi and that's unfortunately put Dupi out of contention for this race I'm sure the stewards will have to have a look at that later coming to the end of lap number two we see the from battle here for first place Bruno first Jakes is tight on the inside he's taking the position away from Dirk as they head down the main straight we'll pan around just to see exactly what's happening or Dirky getting as much of that slipstream as possible that is Vincent he's in fourth Andrews currently up in fifth into the breaking zone Bruno he locks up he opens the door Dirky he goes through he takes the position contact between Bruno and Dirky Jakes is on the power a lot sooner he's able to get that power on sitting up here for turn number three will Dirky go on the inside no he doesn't yes he does amazing positioning they all a little tap there by Jakes unfortunately we'll have to go back quickly and just have a look to see what happened there having a look at the replay here there's definitely enough space here for both the drivers it doesn't look like that touch but then you can see there as the game catches up it does look like that there was a bit of contact I don't think there was anything malicious in that and then unfortunately that second contact that forces Jake straight into the wall so halfway through lap number three we catch up with our race leader Bruno and we take a look at what's happening in the positions at the moment Bruno leads Durki is second Vince is in third Andrews currently in fourth followed by Marius in fifth Toki up to a respectable sixth great effort there Toki Louis he's in seventh followed by Jacques in eighth Ross is down to ninth Jakes is tenth Memo eleventh Louis is twelfth Colin he's in thirteenth place and Dupi all the way down in fourteenth position halfway through lap number three and we chase Andrew he's currently in fourth we take a look at the positions Bruno is first then Durki Vince Andrew Marius Toki Louis Jacques Ross Jakes Memo oh, oh that's Vince he's touched the inside curb on turn number six and stabilized the car and thrown himself off extremely unfortunate there for Vince he rejoins in ninth that's Ross he's moved up to eighth Jakes is tenth Memo eleventh Gerard down in twelfth place Colin is thirteenth and Dupi is fourteenth jump to the middle of the pack with Jacques in shot from TTR must be enjoying being stuck in the middle of the pack here and actually getting down to racing we see Toki and Louis as they go into that first corner Toki on the outside there Louis he opted for that cutback might have got that power on but Toki he's got the, the drive going into turn number three oh Toki here breaks himself everything seems to be okay where Louis just turned into him you can see Ross in the background he's starting to catch up to this middle pack we jump on board with Toki he's currently in fifth place ahead of him is Morris behind him is Louis oh unfortunately he runs a little bit wide taking some of that dirt that's definitely going to slow him down that might taps off a bit there you can see that Louis he's got the run on on him down into the chicane here comes Jacques he comes around the outside oh very close lots of space for the two drivers oh big impact there I think there might have been a little bit more space needed for Jacques there well big lock up there as we jump to the front and as we go there we see Durki he managed to go on the inside he's gone around the outside of Bruno Durki he will move to first place Bruno's in second Andrew still fighting hard there in third Morris is in fourth Louis is up to fifth Ross is sixth Vince is seventh Jacques is eighth Jake's up to ninth Toki down to tenth after the incident in the chicane Gerard he's moved himself to eleventh and Memo is up to twelfth Colin is in thirteenth and Dupi looks like he's retired here halfway through lap number six we chase Jake's as he chases down Jacques 
coming into the chicane. Ahead of him is Vince. Nice and tidy through the chicane. Jake's makes up a lot of time here in Jacques. Will be able to have a little look on the inside here as they go into Coca-Cola. Little tap of the brakes there by Jacques. That's going to hamper his momentum coming out. It looks like Jake's might be able to get the run on him down this main straight. Little tuck in behind him now. Look at getting that slipstream. I'm sure he'll have a little look on the inside here as they go into this braking zone. No, Jake's decides to go on the outside. He might be trying the undercut. Whoa, both the drivers locking up. Jake's idea was a good one, but unfortunately wasn't able to execute it. Gets back on the power, but that puts Jacques on the inside here for turn number three. Very tight. Remember that there were Jake's had a little bit of contact here with Dirk in lap number two. Doesn't look like Jake's will have the an opportunity here unless he's able to get a little bit closer coming out of this turn number five. Will Jacques get that power on? Yes, he has. We'll chase this action as they head to the chicane. Lots of overtaking have, have happened there. But I think Jacques is pretty safe here. Hard on the brakes, all three of these drivers, Vince, Jacques and Jakes. Vince 7th, Jacques 8th, Jakes is 9th as they come around Coca-Cola, the last corner of this track. Vince will try and weave out the way to minimize the, the drafting effect created by the car behind. You can see how close these three drivers are. Jakes, he's involved in this battle. Little lock up there by Jacques. Oh, and Jakes locks up too. But Jacques, he's got the better run going into this second part of this chicane. Will Jakes have the run on him setting up for turn number three? Whoa! Jacques goes inside and he defends. Jakes has to pull out right at the end there. But Jakes has got a much tighter line. Leaves enough space for Jacques to go on the outside through turn number four. They say rubbing is racing, but um, I'm sure they were trading a lot more than just paint there. Round turn five. Looks like Jakes will have the run on, on Jacques here as they prepare for turn six. No, Jacques has got enough momentum. So Jakes will try and tuck up in behind and have a look here going into the chicane. Jakes moves to the inside, but no, still too far away. We'll have to concede taking this place. As they head to Coca-Cola, Vince, he's starting to move away from this battle. Round Coca-Cola they go once more and across the line. Back to our race lead and we see that Dirk, he's been able to take the position away from Bruno. Not too sure what happened there while we were in that battle for 7th, 8th and 9th. Let's have a quick look at what's happening in the positions. Durkee leads, Bruno is in 2nd, Andrew is in 3rd, Marius is 4th, Ross up to 5th, Louis is 6th, Vince is 7th, Jacques 8th, Jakes 9th, Toki he's down in 10th, Gerard is 11th, Memo is 12th, Colin 13th and Dupi retired. End of lap number 9 and we see Marius he's starting to put a little bit of pressure here on Andrew currently in 3rd place. I do think that Morris is a little bit too far away to make a move going into turn number one in that very tricky chicane section. We see in the background there, Jakes is still fighting with Jacques down in ninth and tenth place. Very tidy there by both Andrew and Morris, so no positions will be changing just yet. Here we jump back to this battle for seventh, eighth and ninth. Jake starting to apply a lot more pressure here on Jacques. Well, Jake's have the run coming out of the chicane. It looks like he has his move to the inside. Jake's has made the move. He's moved himself up into eighth place. His next person is Louis. Currently, he's in seventh place. But Jacques, he tucks up behind Jake's. Jake's moves over to go defensive. But Jake's realizes if he goes back behind Louis, he'll be able to get that slipstream into the chicane they go. 
Jokes looks like he's going around the outside of Louis, but unfortunately a little bit too far. Gets that power down again. Louis makes that position stick. Jake's unfortunately too far away to put any additional pressure on. We'll have to come back and see what's happening later on. We jump to the action here on lap number 12. Marius starting to put a little bit more pressure here on Andrew as they go into the chicane. We see Bruno currently in second place. This battle is starting to become a three-way for this second place position. Into turn number three. Morris looks like he has a much better line going into there. Oh, he had to just break, just give Andrew enough space to make that, that corner. Into turn four. Oh, Morris gets it a little bit sideways coming out of, of four. Round turn number five. Morris will be looking to get a, a little bit of a slipstream here as they go through turn six and set themselves up for that chicane at the end of the straight. We see Ross in the background, currently in fifth place. Very aggressive chicane attack there by Marius, taking a lot of that first curb. Round Coca-Cola he goes. Morris seems to have a much tighter line there. He'll be able to get much closer to Andrew. Looks like he'll be able to tuck in behind him, get that slipstream. But will he have enough pace coming down the main straight? We'll see what happens as they go into this braking corner. Very unpredict unpredictable here on the brakes. Very tidy there by Andrew. That's exactly what he needed. Morris will not let go of that rear bumper as they set themselves up for turn number three. Morris again, a little look on the inside. But too far away. Will Morris have a, a look here on the end? No, he doesn't. He snaps back behind Andrew. Going through turn number four. Andrew has a little tap for the brakes coming out of turn five. That might give Marius a little bit of the advantage. Get the toe coming down through corner number six. And setting himself up for that chicane. Morris goes, has a look on the inside, but too far away to make any impression. Hard on the power coming out. Not even a car's length between them going through that chicane. Round Coca-Cola he goes. Morris will be looking to tuck in right behind Andrew to get that slipstream and set up a move for this first corner. very close no Marius he backs out allows the Andrew the space very tidy there by Andrew he's catching Bruno making this challenge a lot more interesting we jump to our race leader Durkey he leads on lap number 14 followed by Bruno then Andrew Marius is closely behind him Ross is 5th Vince is 6th Jakes is 7th Louis is 8th Jacques Nans, Toki down in 10th, Carrot is 11th, Memo is 12th, Colin 13th and Dupi the retirement. We chase Morris as they go through chicane, Andrews outbreaks himself, will he allow enough space? Yes he does. That's respect shown there, Andrew gives Morris enough space. Andrews gone a bit wide going into the Coca-Cola. Will Morris have enough of a pull? No, unfortunately not. Andrew, he is able to get the power down sooner than Morris. And Andrew will win this race going down the, f the main straight and setting up for, for the first corner. In shot, we see Vince, Jakes, Louis, and then Jacques. Both Vince and Jake's not having a good here event here in the Nürburgring in these 73 2002 BMWs. We'll just have to see how this championship unfolds. Lap number 15, the battle for third and fourth place is still very much on. 
with only three corners to go. Morris, here's a look on the inside of Andrew. Will he make the position stick? It looks like he has. Andrew puts the power down once again. As they come around Coca-Cola, Morris, he has made the position stick. Looks like he'll get that position. Andrew, he's back on the power. The race down to the start finish and across the line. Shot of Durkey, our race winner. He'll come through first. Bruno will finish second. Marius will take Andrew right at the end there. Andrew will finish third. Ross will come in fourth. Vince sixth. Jake seventh. Louis will come through in eighth. Jacques ninth. Toki tenth. Gerard a very disappointing eleventh. Memo will finish twelfth. Colin thirteenth. And Dupi unfortunately retirement. So that will conclude our event number one here at the Nürburgring Sprint Short. We'll look at the positions with one point being allocated per driver that entered. And race two will give two points per driver entered. Dupi, he unfortunately doesn't score in this event. Yaku, he will come through in 14th place. Tied eight with Colin and Memo. But Memo will have the position of 12th with Colin 13th as we'd use the last highest result to decide what that position is. Gerard will finish 11th for the day with 11 points. Jakes is 10th with 16. Toki will be 9th with 17 points. Jacques is 8th with 18. Louis comes home in 7th place overall with 27 points. Ross, he is awarded a one position penalty after the contact with himself and Dupi and that will drop him further down the field and give himself 6th with 29 points. Andrew with the highest second race result, he too is on 29 but puts himself 5th. Morris is 4th with 31 points and Vince taking the advantage of Ross losing that position. Vince scores additional points in that race number 2 and he puts himself 3rd with 32. Bruno 36 points in a second place and Durkey double win for the day. He puts himself top of the championship with 42 points. Guys, if you like these videos and the highlights, please give us a like and subscribe. And watch out for our next race in two weeks time. Thanks for watching. Yo's.